So we've worked for two years to get ourselves the Fertile Underground Grocery Store on the west side, now open seven days a week for coming on 12 months, serving awesome vegetables and groceries, um, tons of local stuff. And, you know, while we've been working to make this as a center where we can bring this food right here, the beginnings of this were, were about getting the food from the farm right to the people through this truck. Our food truck is going to be a face of Fertile Underground out at different locations and it's going to really bring that presence of fresh food, fresh vegetables to different neighborhoods. We can get over to the south side, we can get over to the North Providence, Pawtucket area. We can go where the people are and make everybody feel happy about what they're eating because they know where it comes from, it's locally sourced. They get to meet the people who are actually preparing their foods, stocking their foods, um, growing their foods. This food design has been on the road for 50 years, but we bet you've never seen it full of eggplant. The food truck was there uh, before the store, before there was an actual Fertile Underground store. The truck itself is kind of getting back to our roots, what the original idea, the concept behind the store was, to get good, healthy, quality food and information out to the people. We've been building our menu of our favorite meals that we've been preparing for about five years in the homes again and again. We've got perfected recipes, we've got cooks and servers, we're all here. We're ready, we just need the dough. Because we're going to serve a pizza. Why have cash when we can? Crop cash. Why use cash when you can? Crop cash. Why burn cash when one can? Crop cash. When you have crop cash, you have a piece of a recognized community resource. Your note that shows that you back the truck shows that you have the truck. You can trade it back whenever you want to eat at the truck. Funding the truck will be possible through small, short duration borrowing. This is an experimental way to crowdsource capital. We'll give you future notes equal to the amount you give us. You're trading cash for crop cash. We're shifting money into recognizable resources right here in your neighborhood. We built the store at 1577 by effectively using community block money for community resources, especially the supply of food. That grant was instrumental in taking on a project of that size. This time, we'd like to go straight to you, straight to the community. We feel we can self-fund better services for our neighborhood because that's where, that's where we live and we feel like that's where we want to be.